We're going to take the 17 angles of attack, we're going to break them down into each separate pattern, and then we're going to be doing a defense, any defense. It could be a, a block, it could be a parrying, it could be a striking, a disarm to the hand, uh, whatever is going to counter it, evasion and then parry or whatever. So the box pattern is your first board here. So it's basically the, the neckline, right? Neckline or something high line, something midline. Same thing on this side. And that's all we're gonna focus on right now. Of the 17 angles of attack, these are your first four. They're also called the box pattern. Derek's gonna work the defensive line, whatever he feels like doing. I'm gonna work the offensive line on my attacks. I give him angle one, angle two, angle three, and an angle four. So that's all you gotta do. Then I do the left side, angle one, being blocked, angle two is being stopped, angle three, and angle four. The next pattern here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it up. The next pattern is the upside down triangle. So we know what a triangle looks like. If you flip it upside down, you have the one point in the middle, which would be your belly button, or thereabouts. Angle two would be the top corner on one side, which would normally be the base on the, if it were right side up. If that misses, we got a secondary strike here. So anytime you do a strike from this side, typically if it misses, your arm's here. So you gotta come back as opposed to coming here, bringing it around and trying it again. So the upside down triangle allows for that option of if this misses, we can go on the other side. Okay, so he's gonna do the block. So now I'm doing a straight on motion. So he may move to the side a little bit, right? Or he may catch it in the early phase. So he's gotta get out of the way in case I continue that motion. I go to his heart or lung. Build it up. I do the left side. I go for his stomach, he evades and blocks. I go for his lungs, he evades and blocks, and I missed it or it got carried, I go to the other side and it gets blocked. So that's our second pattern. First pattern was our box, second pattern was our upside down triangle, and it's really any defense, right? It's helping both people to do, do two different drills. The right pattern, it's kind of like if I were to here and I finished off that upside down triangle pattern, that might have been my last strike. So it makes more sense instead of bringing it all the way over here and attacking that low line on the, the leg, and here I just drop it down to the leg and I can follow through to the other side and then I can do my same side. Or you could think of it as I might have circled the head and it works perfect off that roof block, right? We're down up in here. It's my left hand, I roof block it up. You can, you can roof block this way and get it. If I roof block that way, I do the same side. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm attacking the blow line, he's gonna block. If it's here, I'll go around the head, I attack the legs and it gets blocked. Then I follow through, I do the same side over here. Boom, I come up and hook the eye. You can do an evasion, you can do, he was doing um, the body supported block, which is a great application for those thigh ones. Then I do the opposite side, right? I roof block it, I go to the thigh. Opposite thigh, follow through, same side thigh, bounces off, hook the eye, gets evaded and parried, or blocked, whatever he feels like doing. So that's our, our, our rhyme pattern. So now we've done the box pattern, the first four, we've done the upside down triangle, we've done the rhyme pattern. Same thing on the other side, first four are box, next three are upside down triangle, next one's the rhyme pattern. So from there, the next one's just a really simple one, it's gonna be the down and up, right? Elevator goes down, elevator goes up, you zipper, you, uh, zipper down, you zipper up, right? Zip down, zip up. So he's gonna get out of the way, we'll block it early on. Boom, it's done. So it's only a two beat pattern or a two strike pattern off of two offenses. So what we've done now is we've done uh, four of the six patterns within the 17 angles of attack. First one was the box pattern. Second one was the upside down triangle. Third one was the rhyme pattern. Fourth one we just did is that, that elevator pattern, right? First four, next three, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So now the next one's just that downward X, right? Or downward figure eight or sideways figure eight, however you want to think of it. Same thing on the other side. So he's gonna block that. Boom, boom. Now left side, boom, boom. And the last drill is gonna be the upward figure eight. This is your pattern six of the 17 angles of attack. And it's simplest form. So now collectively, boom, boom, boom. There's your first four, right? I might do the four on the side. Then you do the upside down triangle right side, upside down triangle left side, rhyme pattern, thigh, thigh, I, I, thigh, thigh, I, I, elevator down and up, elevator down and up, and then downward figure eight, downward figure eight, upward figure eight, upward figure eight. 
practice that.